solvent system by the substitution method. So we have number 9, xy is equal to 6, and 2x minus y is equal to 1. So here that we can see the easiest to work with is the second equation. We can easily separate the y. So I will start with that. So we have 2x minus y is equal to 1. Then if I will add y both sides, so this will be 0. So I will have 2x is equal to 1 plus y. Then I will substitute or subtract 1 both sides. So we have 2x minus y is equal to 1. So now the y is separated. Now I can use this equation to substitute for the value of y in the first equation. So we have xy, the first equation, is equal to 6. So instead of xy, it will be x, then parentheses, I will use the equivalent value of y, which is 2x minus 1, which is equal to 6. So in place of y, I substituted the 2x minus 1 because it's equivalent to y. Then I will uh, distribute, so x multiplied by 2x will be 2x squared. Then x multiplied by negative 1 will be negative x is equal to 6. Then I will uh, subtract 6 both sides so that the right side will be 0. So I will have 2x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So this will be 0. Then after that, I can do the factoring. So I will move it here. So we have 2x minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Factor out 2x. So we have 2x, uh, 2x squared, 2x and x. And the 6 factors of 6, so we say negative 6, so it will be negative 1 and positive 6, and positive 1 and negative 6, and we have uh, negative 2 and positive 3, or positive 2 and negative 3. This all will give a negative 6 product when you multiply. Then now here, because the A is not 1, so we will do the trial and error. So we need to have a negative 1x at the middle. So I will use the 2 and negative, or I will use the negative 2 and positive 3. So here I will use positive 3 here, and I will use negative 2 in this side. This is trial and error you need to really check if you will get the middle term. So here I will multiply the outer factors. It's mandatory to do that to check if the middle term will be, uh, will produce, will be produced by the given combination. So 2x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4x. And x multiplied by 3 is 3x. Then you uh, subtract them together because it's positive and negative, so we will have negative 1x, which is our middle term. So now we can say our combination will be 2x plus 3, and we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, here you really need to be careful in... Uh, the combination of your factors because if you mix up the combination then it will give you wrong answer so you can check the outer factor should be outer and the outer here should be in the outer so that's how we, you will check the factors then after that we will equate these equations or these uh, factors into zero so we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, and the other one is x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then you will subtract 3 both sides, so we have 2x, so this is turned to be 0, is equal to negative 3. Divide 2 both sides, so we have x is equal to negative 3 halves. Then here you add 2, because it's a negative, you need to do the opposite. So this will be 0, so x is equal to 2. So we have 2x solution. Then we need to substitute this in our equation to solve for the y. So we will use this equation. The 2x minus 1 is equal to y. 
So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to y. You substitute x is equal to negative 3 halves. So we have 2 multiplied by negative 3 halves minus 1 is equal to y. Then you can see 2 over 2, this turn to be 1. So we have negative 3 minus 1 is equal to y. So we will have negative 4 is equal to y. So the first solution that we get is negative 3 halves and negative 4. That is the first solution. Then the second, we will substitute x is equal to 2 in the same equation. So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to y. So your x is 2. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 minus 1 is equal to y. So we have 3 is equal to y. So the second solution the, for this problem is 2 and positive 3. So we have two answers. Both of these are answers, meaning the two graphs will meet in these two points.